My wife, Anne, and I are proud graduates of NIU. Uh, Anne is a history major at NIU, and she keeps reminding me the importance of history. So tonight, I'd like to give you a short history lesson of the Founders Forum Donor Wall. And I gotta go to my notes every so often. But uh, I served on the foundation board two different terms, like many of the people in this room, and it was just a, a great honor. But uh, you heard these great reports from uh, Catherine about these wonderful donors, and I said, I'd like to meet them. So just before I was ready to retire from the foundation board, I told Catherine I wanted to do this donor wall, and I was pretty persistent and wouldn't let go, and she said, okay, fine, go do it, but I'm gonna give you my staff, and she did. So I want to thank Catherine tonight for letting an old man try to do something crazy. <laughs> so she assigned me uh, Diane Johnson, Kristen Miller, and Michael Edwazak. And it was amazing. I met th these individuals, and I'm sure they said, why did Catherine give me this guy to work with? And it was an amazing experience working with the three of them. And to set history straight, my hand will tell you, you come up with these crazy ideas, and everyone thinks you did the work, and you didn't. So let the history record show, Kristen, I mean Tate, Michael, and Diane did the work. But we started this, and we worked on this program for over nine months. And it wasn't just to build a wall, it was to build a donor program. And uh, it would be easy to put up the wall, and then nothing changes. So we talked about different elements. And the first one was, every year we wanted to celebrate, and I can't, tell Lisa and, and, and Catherine what a great job every year to do this. It's just amazing to celebrate uh, you, the generous donors of NIU. But the second thing we wanted to do is do frequent updates to just the founder four members. And Catherine just did a brilliant one just a few weeks ago. and want to thank her for that. We came up with the Founders Forum logo. We came up with special stationery to communicate with you. And then, of course, the donor pin and the shadow box. When we started talking about where we're going to put this wall, it was fun working with my team. Uh, we explored everything on campus, the library, et cetera, and I said, no, there's only one place called Guild Hall. And I was pretty, it had to be a prominent place. So I kind of thought this would be a great place, you know, right up the stairs in the most known building on campus. They said, well, Lisa's got to approve that. They go, okay, <laughs> let's go ask Lisa. <laughs> and within a heartbeat, yeah, go, you know, put up the wall. And with, but I think the location that want to, you know, thank Lisa for allowing us to put it here, but it couldn't be in a more prominent place. Again, going back to history, I, I learned from Ann, past, present, and future. And really wanted to honor three different groups of people. The past, those donors who came before us, they're no longer with us. I wanted to make sure we honored them for all their contributions. For the present, I want to thank you, our ongoing lifetime donors who have done so much for this university. But then, really wanted to think about the future, and that was inspiring new donors to come join Founders Forum, but then also current donors to consider moving up a level. And I think the whole program that we created has captured that. I'd like uh, Ray to come up here. I'm going to tell just a short story that I'll keep really straight. Where's Ray? He's coming. He's coming. <laughs> so a little fun story. So I, I, was not an easy, I was not an easy person to work with, with Diane and, 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 and Michael and Kristen, and kept pushing, pushing, pushing. And the two things I pushed with is we wanted to make a wall that was easy to update, and they accomplished that. We wanted to make a wall that was easy to expand. So we had this big discussion. Is the wall big enough? Oh, John, it's big enough. John, it's big enough. Okay, let's just make it 20% bigger just for the heck of it. And we did. That's going to take a long, long time to, to fill this wall. Well, guess what? We inaugurated this wall November 11, 2011, less than two years ago. So I was here for a homecoming just a couple weeks ago, and there were some paintings on the wall behind me. And I went to Lisa and said, we're going to have to move another one of your paintings. She goes, go ahead, move that painting. So tonight, we're going to put up two new panels, and I want to thank Ray and his team for all they've done to expand this program, because our goal was to grow the program, but none of us ever figured out on the team that less than two years after we dedicated this wall, we'd be expanding. So I really would like Ray to have the honors to unveil the panels, because it was him and his team that really made two new panels necessary. So thank you, Ray. Tonight and 
all the great donors that couldn't be here tonight and everything you've done for NIU, and especially for Catherine's ability to let an old man explore his crazy dreams and, <laughs> and for Lisa for being so supportive. So thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Catherine. All right. All right. Extraordinary expansion, and we just can't thank you enough. So, with our with our gratitude. Thank you. Thank you.